Hey here, everybody, it's Stacia Kennedy. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your website or your blog as an associated website to your YouTube channel. So what is an associated website? It's basically a website that you are connecting to your YouTube channel so that anytime you want to use it in your annotations or link to, um, to a blog post or, or link to any other website actually that's not even your blog, um, but you can actually use a pretty link, which I'll explain later. But I wanted to show you how to connect it because it's something that not everyone knows about. You just go to your YouTube channel. We'll just get right into it. Uh, go into my channel, go to video manager, and go all the way down to channel and go down to advanced. Now, one thing, actually, I'm going to go back to status and features. If you don't have green lights, on a lot of the things here in the features and standards. Um, like this one only has, uh, I need to fix the monetization here. But everything else is pretty much green lights. If you don't have green lights here, you'll need to probably verify your account. Um, this will probably say verify, and you'll want to just basically follow the instructions. It'll ask you to uh, enter a valid phone number so they can text you and verify that you are a real person and um, you want to have to make, make sure you have these green lights, otherwise you won't even have the, the ability to connect in an associated website. So go down to advanced, and midway through you'll find where it says associated website. Now, basically it's saying tell us if your channel is associated with another website, and you're gonna, what you want to do is connect this to your main blog that's connected, that has the same theme as your YouTube channel. So this is actually my husband's site for his blog, his um, site called Biz Bellevue Business Journal. If you live in Bellevue, Washington, it's a great way to get your Bellevue news. So make sure to visit that website. <laughs> Go ahead and click add and it's going to automatically say pending. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure you have Google Analytics connected to your blog already. And then what you're going to do is going to click Verify. Associate this to associate this site. You must verify that you own it. So uh, make sure that you click verify that you already have Google Analytics set up, and that you are the manager of that website. So I like to use the Google Analytics way to verify it. Let's see if it'll work. There's other options. So the re their recommended option is to download their HTML verification file, upload it to to, their, to your website and and then click on this link in your browser to verify it. That kind of actually looks a little complicated to me. I'm sure I could figure it out, but for most people, you're probably like, what the hell does that mean? So go to alternate methods. And this has been the easiest way for me. I go to Google Analytics and I click verify. I am, my email, which I'm already logged into, is um, an owner of Bellevue Business Journal um, Google Analytics, so it automatically says, great job, you're now verified, you can now use Google services um, such as Search Console, blah, 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 it's verified your website that you own it. So if you have any other issues, for some reason it doesn't work, there are some other methods here, and you'll have to follow the instructions. Hopefully, that you have your Google Analytics all set up correctly, and it just works seamlessly. Let me go back to YouTube, my channel, video manager, go down to channel, advanced, and it should be all ready and not pending anymore. It says success. So that is how you connect your associated website to your YouTube channel. Make sure it's saved. Now, the cool thing about it is, is this, that if you have a blog or a WordPress um, site, what you'll want to do is go into your blog and, and add in a plugin called Pretty Link. And what's really cool about that is that you can actually set up, um, oops, I'm locked out. I have to log back in. Um, I'll show you a different website actually. I do this with all my other websites. So what I'll do is I'll go back into Bellevue Business Journal, make sure Pretty Link is in there. And so anytime I have 
a um, site that I want to forward it to, I can go down to Pretty Link, and I'm not going to go over adding it. You can just go to Add New Plugin and find Pretty Link Lite. It's a free plugin, and anytime I want to have a different website other than Stacia Kennedy, I can go add a Pretty Link. I can say I want to actually do a link going to Bellevue Business Journal, say. But I want my link to say Stacia Kennedy forward slash Bellevue. Or BBJ for Bellevue Business Journal. So um, for this example, though, I wouldn't, you know, obviously Stacia Kennedy isn't an associated website to that YouTube channel, but if I was able to get back into my Bellevue Business Journal account, basically I would go into my Bellevue Business Journal account and it would be a pretty link for Bellevue Business Journal, but then I, you could make, you know, links going to any other website, not just your blog. So when you go into YouTube and you wanted to create annotations or use the video cards, you can use your website name, but forward slash whatever you want to name it to, and it will forward to any website, not just your blog. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions for me or what an annotation is or video cards, I will do another video for you. Just comment below um, or in the poll section, I will put up a poll real right quick and see what kind of videos you want me to do next. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos about YouTube and how to make videos. Um, there is a program that I highly recommend. Click the link below for that and I will see you on the next video.